have our database system up and running, we need to add our databases to it. For the purposes of our work in the near future, we need the Northwinds database and the PUBS database. The Northwinds database is an uh, installation script, a SQL script, is located in the default uh, download from the uh, book's website. Um, it's in the root of the directory that you will unpack, and it's uh, titled INST NWND, install northwind.sql. To start off here, I'm going to select our SQL Express uh, databases, and then I'm going to click on the New Query uh, window button. And this is going to create a new query within our system. And again, at this point, I'm operating at the very root of our database uh, instance, our SQL Express instance. I'm going to, um, just off screen here, I have the, uh, the database file open and ready to go. So I'm going to do a copy of that. And then I'm going to paste that into my um, query window. And again, a query window is just nothing more than our way of interacting with the database. Notice right up front some of the SQL statements uh, are things like um, whether or not the database exists or not. Um, so it's going to actually, if, if I had the Northwind database running and installed already, it, this would actually delete it and rebuild it. So once I've got this copied into my query window, all I have to do is click on Execute. This should be a good uh, script, should not have any errors in it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Execute. And notice down at the bottom of the results window comes up. The only error that comes up here is this SB um, stored procedure DB option um, method. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is go over here and refresh my view. And notice that I have my databases and I have my database tables. And I'm going to double click on one um, to open it up, make sure I've got all my columns. Notice structurally the database is whole. And then I'm also going to do a real quick uh, select the top 1,000 rows. And notice that I get my uh, employees listed with all their data. So that's working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and close that query. And I'm also going to close my um, my uh, actual input query that created the table. I wouldn't save this because I've already got the original. The one last thing I want to do before we leave the database is I'm going to click on the database diagrams uh, option here and notice that it gives me this message. And it, what needs to happen is the database itself needs to be modified to allow the database diagrams. So I'm going to click Yes. And then if I right-click the database diagrams and tell it new database diagrams, I'm just going to add two of the tables. I'm going to add categories and products and click Add and then Close. And what you'll find as you get used to working with SQL Server, this is an incredibly powerful tool. This shows me diagram of the database and the relationships between the tables. I can even uh, create um, the, uh, database relationships, table relationships, directly from this diagramming tool. As you can see here, the products are all uh, set to have a category. And I'm just playing with this a little bit just to make it look nicer. Um, Oh, that's not what I wanted. What I want is that key to be down where it should be. Category ID, that should be like that. I'm trying to do this without a mouse, so it's kind of uh, tough with a laptop um, touchpad. So then once I have my diagram set up and visualized, I can just close it and save it. And I'm going to save it as cat 
dash prod. And now I have a database diagram all set up. So I'm going to refresh that. And it should tell me I've got my diagram. So, all good. So, this has been a real quick tutorial showing you how to in, uh, install the Northwind database and also enable database diagrams. This has been Mike Shore from the Web Technologies Department.